All right, check it out, it's your boy Illa G. Welcome to another episode of A Beautiful Lie. This should be episode four. And I know I've been going for a while, but something happened, you know, that occurred in my life and um, getting back to it. So with that being said, uh, this episode is brought to you by Illa Apparel. Make sure you go to Illa Apparel, Shopify.com. Um, it's where hip hop meets comfort. I love comfort. Got t-shirts, hoodies, hats, everything. A lot of things, sneakers, whatever you want, jackets. Just go support. Gonna leave a link in the uh, description section of the video. Now, with that being said, beautiful lie. Purpose for a beautiful lie is to get parents to communicate and talk to their kids to create that conversation. Be emotionally, mentally available for your kids and your family. We have to bring that dynamic back because, you know, me thinking about it, a lot of times, you know, by you not being emotionally available, your kids do things and you don't know what they're into. You don't know what can happen. And that's why parents look lost. When things happen with their kids or they be in the street and they locked up and they had no clue. That form of dialect and conversation needs to be more. Now, with that being said, I'm learning this from, uh, it was a time where I started trying to make a name for myself, fighting in the street all the time. So, you know, secretly people didn't know I was kind of taking boxing classes. Yeah, I cheated a little bit in the shadow box in the crib, but I wanted to be nice at it, you know. I, I'm the type of person that wanted to be with that. Anyway, um, so going through that also, you know, sometimes, you know, there's there's levels, you know, that you know, that, that meaning means a lot when they say there's levels to this shit. So back then, you know, uh, we was like up and coming. There was a crew at the time, from like about 86, 87, 88 crew. You know, they was, you know, they was the generation before us. So sometimes, you know, you, you, you know, you want to hang out with the big guys, the big dogs. You want to be, you know, be with them and, you know, saying, feel like you're a part of something. But. A lot of times, more than likely, you need to recognize where you are and you need to be truthful with yourself to understand that you're not ready, that you need sometimes to be a little too late to see that you're not ready. This is one of the instances for me to recognize that I'm not ready for that. So, but you know, like I said, that time's fighting a lot of people my age, you know, so on and so forth. So, you know, a couple nights sometimes trying to hang out with the big dogs. So this particular night, they was in like Tonkins, TP across the street. We was like on Tonkins Avenue, so on and so forth. So one of the guys from the uh, the era or the crew before us um, asked me to go to the store. You know, and for me, that's, you know, you didn't want to be the go to the store dude. You don't want to be that guy. So I know how, how that's at that time, it's looked at as a shorty. Like, you know, you, you young, you shorty, go, go to the store. You know, that's how I seen it. Let's go to the store. I, I don't even recall how he acts. All I know was go to the store to me was being disrespectful. Like, I'm not no shorty. I'm not going to the store. So I told him no. Like, nah, I'm not going to the store. So basically, I guess I was right because it's, it turned into something and we was playing or whatever. And, you know, and we started like almost like pretty much slap boxing. Now, I don't think he realized that I was nice. So, you know, in front of his crew or whatever, you know, the dudes in front of us, I guess I kind of touched him up a little too much. 
and then without me knowing, punched me in my face, put me in the dope fiend. For those that don't know, in New York, this chokehold, in uh, MMA they call it a rear naked chokehold, in New York, this is the dope fiend. So when you hear it in songs, you hear New York dudes say that, this is the dope fiend. Put me in the dope fiend, knock me out. All right. Um, these were some serious people, right? And not because of that. I know about things that they've done, which puts them on another level that I wasn't ready for. And yeah, I mean, I was upset. I stood my ground for what I went, but you know, that could have went way left. Why? Because I shouldn't have been with them dudes in the first place. They was on a different level. I'm not going to see what level are they on, but you get it when I say these dudes was on a different level. And it was just like, basically, I had to eat that because I wasn't ready for if I would have, you know, said anything past that. I honestly can tell you I wasn't ready for that. So, you know, never got to talk about it with anybody in my household. If anything would have happened, my parents wouldn't have knew. My mother would have never known like what the hell happened because she didn't know who in the hell I was hanging with. We never had that communication of what did you do today? What did this today? You know what I'm saying? She was tired. Like you gotta realize a lot of parents are tired from work, so on and so forth. But Still, even though you're tired, you may have had a shitty day, you need to talk to your kids. Get them comfortable enough to speak to you and let them know. Let them know that the streets is not it. You know, make them understand. Even if, you know, you have to come up with a plan yourself. Come up with a plan. So if they see you have a plan, they'll come up with a plan. You know, my mother came from the South. You know, of course, a lack of education and it's playing for us not to have education. So this is why I'm fighting to have a, a more than just an education. We have to know how to play in this jungle, in this jungle that they call America. So you got to have a plan so you could teach your kids how to have a plan. And they will follow you and understand, yo, I can't get you there, so I can't afford, you know what I'm saying? I need to know what's going on in your life. What girl you seeing? Who you talking to? So on and You know what I'm saying? I ask, I tell people that, like, yo, I don't ask you to be nosy. I ask you because if anything happens, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going to. And I know who I need to question of why did this occur? So open that line of communication, please, with your kids, man, with your teens, especially your teens, your male teens, even your females, even the girls, because, you know, I know it may be cute. People think it's cute or some things, but, you know, it's nothing more hurtful to see your daughter, like, really shaking her ass in camera because that's what she feel she want people to like her or love her, so on and so forth. You know what I'm saying? So especially be, you know, be protective of the children, but open that line of communication because you do not want your child to have the rude awakening that I got. Rude awakening. It was a very much a rude awakening. And I have no problem with that. What y'all thought I was going to talk about me winning battles all the time? No, when you out there, you're not going to win everything. Sometimes you got to know when to sit the fuck down and shut up. You know what I'm saying? Unless you think you're really badass. And sometimes you really need this to think things out. But yes, it was a rude awakening. Stay in your lane heard that term before stay in your lane and I still didn't learn because I even though I kind of chilled out away from them 
you know, I gained this respect a little bit. But that's it. Let's still learn. Stay in your lane. Stay with your age bracket until you, you know what I'm saying, stay there. Because you're you not ready for that next level. You know, I still constantly picked up a brick and threw it at the jail and risked my life for a lot of shit. But please, parents, once again, I don't care how tired you are, open, be emotionally available to your kids. Talk to them. Talk to them. Talk to them. Don't dictate. A lot of people try to dictate shut down learn to communicate you look up how you look up how to twerk and do challenges look up how to communicate to your kids and then put it in your form of fashion and learn something about them where you could relate to them and talk to them and they'll get it man believe me they will so thank you for watching the beautiful lie episode four um we're just going to name this a rude awakening. Open the line of communication with your kids. That's so important. So important. Thank you. It's your boy, Ella. Streets is a beautiful lie, man. It's just a beautiful lie.